Hello, 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 hello. been a while since I streamed last. Um, I'm working with a very different setup to what I had previously, so please bear with me. Um, like 90% of this I put together last night, <laughs> so hopefully, uh, hopefully it's all good. Okay. So today, we are going to be playing a couple games, um, <laughs> because I couldn't decide. Um, I really wanted to play the new Sea of Stars demo, because it's been on my radar for a little while, and I've yet to play it. Um, but I did a little, a quick search online, um, and I learned that it's only like 40 to 60 minutes long, from what I can tell, so uh, that's not really a great length for a stream. So I figured we can start the stream by playing the demo, um, and we can see how much time that takes. It probably won't take a lot of time. Um, and then we're going to play Tunic, which is another game I've really been wanting to play for a while. <laughs> I have like a, a big backlog of stream games that I've sort of just been holding out and playing because I want to play them live. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping to start streaming a little bit more regularly because um, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it keeps my voice in check because uh, it's a lot of talking, which I don't really do a lot of on a day-to-day -day basis. Right, I need to close my window because I forgot to do that. Okay, apologies if that was particularly loud. Right. It is gaming time. Uh, let me pull up the game. So I've tried to stay as blind to this as possible. Um, so I, I haven't really seen any of this apart from like maybe the occasional things that the devs have put out on Twitter. Um, so yeah, right now, switch over, these work, really cool, there we go, okay, nice. Oh, does it? Oh, it doesn't. Okay. I thought maybe it froze because I tapped out, but now we're fine. Oh! Okay. So, if you weren't aware, um, this is from the developers behind uh, Messenger, which was a uh, sort of old school Ninja Gaiden style game that did a sort of bait and switch into being a Metroidvania, um, which is really fun. Um, so I've been really excited to see what this team is going to do next. I think this game is actually meant to be a prequel to The Messenger, which is a really interesting concept because they're very different styles of game. Okay. Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. This can be changed later and it's not a first story. Play dance upon in the summer solstice, what's the purpose? A monk born in the winter solstice, what's the purpose the guardian goddess, Luana? Uh... I'm always more of a sort of <laughs> moon person, uh, so I think I'll probably go for Valor. Oh, that's loud. I might turn that down. <laughs> this is 
so pretty. Yeah, sorry if the audio is too loud, I'll turn it down straight. No way, that was awesome. Yeah, what a ride. The Elder Mist wasn't kidding. So, the eclipse will happen soon, but we're no closer to Wraith Island. I doubt we'll find a ship at this altitude. Ground level then? Only one way to go from here anyway. Ooh, almost straight in. Okay, let me, uh... That's a bit better. Oh! Okay. Uh. Yep, okay. Cool. Adventure tips. Traversing the world is a tactile experience. You can hoist up or jump off most ledges with A. I also use A to cling to climb all surfaces. Oh cool. I haven't actually looked at the how to play because I kind of just want to go in blind and see how it goes. So I'm guessing it wants me to go down there. Oh! <laughs> A little attack I can do. That's fun. Okay. This is already so nice. Chest. 90 gold. Gaming. You want to see what's down the other side. I look like a cave, but. Maybe it's just like a hidden little cranny or something. Oh. Uh, ooh. Another chest. Solstice Mage Ring. Oh, can I quite book Yes it is. Any members recover one MP at the time of block. Can I put that on anyone or is it just oh I can. Uh I'll put it on other then. This is interesting, so I'm I'm assuming it drops you sort of in like partway through the story. <laughs> I'm guessing this isn't how the game starts. Um but I'm already super digging it. If skills. I'll, I'll probably look at these when combat starts. I'm sure it, it'll be easy enough to figure out. Yeah, the sprite work in this game is really, really lovely. Big fan already. That looks like an enemy. Hmm. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Just the way it like, dynamically moves in, that's super nice. So battle music, let's go. Oh, this is a vibe. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You know magic projectile that commands multiple targets, smashes enemies in an arc. Let's just start with the basic attack for now. I think this is showing weaknesses. Yes, okay. I might need to look at the how to play. I thought maybe it would teach me some things, but I'm guessing maybe not. Oh, that's interesting. I can pick the order that I attack in. Okay, we'll look at the, um, the how to play <laughs> after this fight, I think. Interesting. So, okay. Full HP, yeah, uh, Nice. Let's try this one. Yep.
Oh, hell's an enemy to position. Let's just smack it. Right. Alright, I anyway, think we can just... Yeah. Nice. That's so fun. I love how diegetic it feels. It's not like you cut to some random... Like a... <laughs> battle arena. Uh, right. Let me look at the... Uh, combat. Blah, 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 yep. Attacks and skills can be enhanced. Oh, so it's like, um, Mario and Luigi. Or like Paper Mario, even. I thought maybe that was the case. Uh... Yeah, and it's the same with blocking. Okay. Skills... Must be enhanced. Regular attacks cover MP, that's nice. Item self country Generate live mana charge. What's him? Okay, so you can use mana to strengthen an attack. Okay, interesting. So I thought maybe this was like a weakness thing, where like you hit all their weaknesses and they enter like a down state, but I think it's <laughs> it's sort of like a stun lock. Makes sense. Combos. This is like damage types. Swapping characters. Okay, so the player character has to act and then you can choose the order of the party X. That's an interesting way of doing it. Okay, that makes sense. Well, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Just having like little more interesting ways to traverse the overworld is so nice. Okay, so it looks like there's cooking. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, it's a little wind gust. Is it switch? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. that's nice. Suspicious individual. Oh. Very interesting. Few adventures later, our heroes make it to ground level. In the port town of Brisk, a pirate crew promises to get them to Wraith Island in time of the eclipse. One condition. It's not like you have other options. Still, making a deal with pirates? They seem nice enough to me. Alright, here goes nothing. Oh! This is so nice. All of the environments so far have just been like so rich. I'm a big fan. I'm gonna check probably someone on the other side stools to sit on. If you want to hear a spooky story, just light a campfire and I'll join you. Who's this guy? I asked for coffee and explained that I had I had to study for an exam when the waiter said, Oh, so not a small then, a medium? I said I'm studying for finals. He apologized and gave me a lodge. Dude. Oh, so many fun characters. <laughs> Captain Cliché's crew is here again. Somehow it feels like they have a more determined look about them. 
Interesting. Uh, should I talk to everyone? Sure, why not? Let it go, just as long as you do not go on thinking I just land that. friend here, who is one of my many connections throughout the world, just told me what happened in the wind tunnels. Scary stuff. Okay, so yeah, we've clearly jumped forward a bit in terms of the technology of the game. Interesting. Let's talk to the spooky pirates. Well, look who it is. Deal stands. If you can't beat Voltrade at arm wrestling, we've got an item that needs fetching. After which, Pirate's Honor will take you all to Wraith Island. What do you say? Sure. Do I have to mash? Everybody, arm wrestling battle! Woohoo! <laughs> Beautiful. I'll try to up. I'll do it, you guys are too strong, it wouldn't be fair. Plus, arm wrestling a real pirate? How cool is that? Fine, but go easy on the poor fella. You got it, fella. I'll be your challenger. Oh, no, no. I'll try it. Captain? Go all out. We can't leave without it. Aye, aye, Captain. Right, tough one. Tough one, you look like. Ready? On three. One. Two. Three. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I like how I played the battle music. That's fun. Cheetah! I'm sorry, did I did I miss the part where we agreed on a no magic shirt rule? Sorry, pal, Captain's orders. You kidding? That was awesome. This'll be my best anecdote for sure. Show me again. You're lucky we didn't ask about specifics. Should have negotiated when you had the chance, son. This lesson's on the house. <laughs> I'll trade Shirley is truly is good at everything. <laughs> the face when he transforms is great. You know it, pal. Now, since you lost the arm wrestling challenge, how about we discuss this little errand? Captain? North of Brisk is the abandoned lab of an arcane wizard who died long ago. It hasn't been opened for centuries, but stories say it conceals a coin of undeath accord. Why do you want it? It's a powerful token. Paying an undead creature with it forces them to do one's bidding. I will use it too. Redacted for spoilers. Nice. <laughs> That's funny. Fine. How do we get in? Fear is what kept people away all this time, but you look like you can handle yourselves in battle. My crew won't fight, but they'll get you inside. Keenathan? A bit of magic should do the trick. I shall open the way to the abandoned wizard lab, or my name is not Keenathan. Ahoy, Captain. Ain't you coming with? I will stay here and make preparations for our departure. Fetch the coin of Undeath Accord, then meet me at the docks. Aye aye, Captain. Nice. <laughs> the cargo. <laughs> Get in my bag. Okay, awesome. Wow, so we just have the squad. That's funny. <laughs> Ooh, relax. My time. Oh, that's nice. So this is like an easy mode, sort of. Just so you can focus on the story. And I guess these are like little extra options. It's quite nice. Okay. 
Guess we're off. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. It's so pretty. Yay, I can swim. <laughs> That's a sign of a good game. Oh wow, how far does this go? I saw some, someone swim under the docks the other day. Such irresponsible behaviour. Oh wow, this place is awesome. There's so much stuff. I get down. Hmm. Did you hear what happened at the humble post? Oh, I'm guessing that's the, yeah, that's the the tavern we were just in. Sorry, he's off limits for the demo. <laughs> At least he's honest. Oh, this town is so cool though. There's so much going on. improvement. May as well. Uh, I guess it couldn't hurt to get one of these. I mean, they put it here for a reason. I'm sure this isn't what the actual shop sells. So I will take it. Okay, here's... Oh. What are their stats like? Let's go to... Big attacker, okay, uh, give it to Valor. Cool. Vegetables. Yeah, so there's definitely some sort of looking in this game. That's cool. This is so nice. I'm so much bigger than I thought it would be. This is my save point. Yes, it is. Nice. Ah, this is what they meant by swimming in the dark. So I thought there'd be something here. I didn't mark it. I wouldn't have had enough money for this anyway, but I feel that it's here. I mean, I guess I could sell some stuff, but I don't know. Cool equipment here, though. I don't know if we'll be playing the game long enough to come back, but I guess maybe we can keep that in mind. I think it says a lot that like, this place is already so massive and they're still like, 
gatekeeping a couple bits for the demo. Ooh, a pirate garb. Armor? Yep. Uh, <clears throat> okay, that way everyone has been given something. Oh, it's like on the rails. Oh no, never mind. I thought it was like stuck to the path. But it is on a grid. Interesting. Are there like overworld encounters or? Oh, there's the dragon. <clears throat> Oral cascades. Abandoned wizard. Okay, so that's where we need to go, I think. Um, I'm guessing Coral Cascades is where it came from originally. Fishing! Basic. Press A to cast. Casting is always at full power. Or airborne. Stir the bubble with Ella. Ella's plastic. And press A to kick it into the water. Oh, the water touches the water close to a fish. It's a hook. Let's do the fish all day. Not really. Okay, okay. Let's give it a try. Cast. Oh. Interesting. Ah, I see. Oh, interesting. Huh. Okay. I don't quite get it. But we got a fish? That's just really sick. It's cool this is here though. I'm sure this is a lot of fun to mess around with. Right, I'm gonna double check that this area down here is the one that we were at before. We can move on. Coral Cascades. Mitsuda san's first guest track is right here in the Coral Cascades. This area is out of bounds for the demo, but if you stand here you can listen to the music. Okay. the rest of it for the, uh, the full game. <laughs> the dragon is so cool. I'm a big fan of it. Okay. Abandoned Wizard's Lab. We only had one combat encounter so far. I think there's a little bit more. I'm sure there will be, but like... I have found the door, but it seems I will only be able to lift it a few inches. I'll try it. On your mark, pal. Is he going big mode? Or is he just gonna... Immense. Yeah, he is going big mode. Bro is insane. Go on, hurry. That's why big guy demolition is my middle name. Oh, they gonna bomb the door? <laughs> okay. I guess that works. That's what you get, you old. Actually, they could have just 
place the bomb next to the door? Do they really need to open it? I mean, fair enough. Page. Oh, I will prove to be a valuable companion, or my name is not Keenathan. Is he wearing two eye patches? I only just noticed that. That's great. We just absorbed him. Nice. Here we go. Oh, this is cool. Big mirror temple vibes. An improbable place. I look at and look at this device. I wonder what it does. It looks like I need to fill those little holes. This is a lot to take in. Why do you explore a bit? Is he just gonna chill here? And then what's his lab? Please go away, title text. The light is on, but it's missing a piece. Looks like it should emit light, but it's inactive right now. Yes, okay. Press X for your mistral base bla 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 bracelet to release bursts of wind. It blocks. Yes, okay. So that's what this is for. Based on old scriptures, you should be able to mix the light from different crystals to open new paths. Quite fasc fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> British levels got too powerful for a second there. <laughs> okay, yeah, I may as well save. Nice. Oh, camp time. I wonder how long ago this was it lived. I'm gonna read you a story. I only have the one so far, it's kind of spooky. Do that in a second. This place is unreal. I hope Malcolm Mud is doing alright. Okay. Spooky story. Of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment, few are as dreadful as the curse of the Vespertine. This story takes us back centuries to a time where a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. And their navigator, Hortense, remains to this day the shrewdest ma marina on record. Combining Hortense's skill and Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until, one day, the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced that she was ready to quit the pirate life. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way. Stormcaller took her resignation harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped con conjuring wind for the sails and lobbed the ship right in the middle of the ocean. And we shall remain here, he said, till our navigator gets that silly idea out of her head. But Hortense had already made her final decision. Days went by, the both of them sulking while their crew begged for some reason. First they ran out of patience, then out of food, and eventually out of drinkable water. And one day after sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. And as he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew by wandering an eternal prison. In the sea of nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to the ghastly place until only Hortons remain. To this day, the battle goes on in the Sea of Nightmare, Stormcaller's hatred pitted against the Navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship, while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortons. Legend has it she gets a short break once a day, for a few seconds, at the pre precise time the curse was first conjured. Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vespertine. While some have half a mind to climb aboard in search of treasure, most avoid sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the Sea of Nightmare. The end. Well, that was fun. Spooky little ghost ship story. Good time for all. 
Okay. Cool. Campfire feels cozy and warm. Let's rest. Should we try the cooking? It's probably worth it. Have a little look. Time to cook. Okay, so you just have like a bunch of recipes and you just make those. That's cool. Like item crafting. That's fine. Uh... Hmm. We'll make some mushroom soup. Okay, so you have a limited, I think a limited inventory of how much you can cook, or like how much you can hold at once, which makes sense. Either that you can only like cook so much a day maybe, I'm not sure. Okay, cool. I'm already very much vibing with this game. It's got um, a really nice atmosphere. Oh, I can climb on the block. Interesting. I guess I need to do this. Yes. Green crystal. Um, oh, that's for the puzzle. Good to know. Um, okay, I'm not like something else I can do yet. Uh, wait, did I get the option to put the cookie jar in there? Interesting. Okay, so this is like the portal we saw before. Oh, oh, right. Oh, I can push the enemies. That's cool. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so I think how it works is the timer indicates when the enemy is going to attack. So I have to take care of these guys, because they're going to attack next turn, presumably. Maybe. In a magic projectile that can bounce to multiple targets, let's try that. Cool. Interesting. Okay, I'm sort of getting it now. Try combo. Solstice strike. Cool. Uh, it's all the magic pressure that splashes. No, they're too far away, I think. Let's get rid of this one. I'm not quite sure if there's like a, an explicit indicator for when I get the extra damage. Um, I'm just going to assume that I'm getting it. Can I take both of those? Ooh. Nice. I really like the combat system. It's a lot of fun. Switch. Ooh. There's a chest up there. Can I get up here? Yes, I can. Heal Amber Staff. That sounds like a weapon. Yes.
Attacks and skills, you can time your hits and blocks. Yeah. Time, okay. Yeah. There are little tutorial bits, that's kind of nice. Uh, I think now I press this again. Yes. And then I climb back up there and I can get that chest. And I'm guessing this has the crystal in. Yes, blue crystal. Nice. I see. Yeah, so this is the only one that actually works at the moment. Interesting. I'm guessing I'm gonna need to find little things to put in those two as well, and then we'll put all the crystals in, or something like that. I guess we'll see. Uh... Ah. Weird. Snacks can be used to recover can you- yeah, okay, so it is a carry limit. Level of charge isn't to your preference, check out the relics panel. Yes, we saw that. Okay, cool. I wonder if I could have pushed him off the edge. That's a vibe. Okay, uh... Let's try this one again. I'm guessing if you hold it too long, it's like it, it burns out or something. That's cool. I like the interactivity. I haven't really played a lot of RPGs that have like that sort of um, like action commands. I guess you'd call it. I'm not really sure if there's like a term for it. To use attacks to get your MP back. It's cool. The music has the same sort of stylistic um, identity as the messenger, and I really like that because the messenger soundtrack is great. Um, let's do some healing. Throw a snack at myself. Oh, interesting. Can we all block that? Cool. Uh... And that kind of sucks. Uh, let's try this. This is fun. Uh, yeah, sauce is strike. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I like how battles just take place in the in the overworld. I guess each of these little like enemy encounters is like the the areas sort of expand out to make room for it, which I, I guess makes sense. Uh... Hmm. Where come from? 
Oh yeah, it came from here. I'm being silly. Uh, this way. Now we head. But um. A lot of enemies. I wonder if you always have to fight all of them or if there's a way you can like separate off the encounters. Oh, here we go. Oh, I see. It, it specifies who it hits. Okay, that's good to know. Let's go, let's go. I think the vulnerable is um the indicator that I get the like the timing. I'm not entirely sure. Oh no, this is kind of bad. <laughs> Whoops. Naya. Uh... Nah, he's just knocked out. Okay. Whoops. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, let's see this. No, I think the vulnerable is actually just like a weakness thing. I think we're also kind of screwed here. Whoops. Uh I this one. Oh, I love that, I think. Oh, the back. Huh. Is it like a you only go down for a certain amount of time thing or interesting. I'm just currently lucky as a man. Nice. Ooh, the level up screen. Oh, this is cool. Hmm. Uh, mana would be nice of him. Let's go with that.
to go this way, I think. And we have to get there. Understand. Was it something? Ooh. Oh. It's not what I was expecting. I had something, but I don't think I was fully paying attention. Uh, I feel like it was over here. I know I need to go over to the right. I switch now, I can't switch back. Okay, let me just try jumping. It was weird. Okay. Mm. Now in here. No. Did I? Hold on. <laughs> I'm missing something because I wasn't paying attention. Did I pick up the thing that I need already? Hold on. So the last thing I did is I came over here and I hit that switch. Which changed something. I don't quite remember. Was it over? Hmm. <laughs> Lesson learned. Attention needs to be paid. Uh... Just going in circles now. <laughs> I think I picked up the crystal here, so I'm probably just missing something. Oh, what if I... This way. Where's the switch right? Hmm. It should be a simple puzzle. <laughs> kind of a... Kind of mess this up. <laughs> Okay. This brings me back here. Let me just go back this way for a sec. I get the impact. I am the big dumb. Yeah. I 
gonna have that switch activate something. I'm stumped as to what exactly. I didn't look. see anywhere else that there is left oh so maybe I did do it I'm confused okay I didn't want to look this up but I want to make sure that I'm not being crazy Just on autopilot. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, I understand that. Yeah, I activated this. Uh, I got very confused. I think I thought I was looking for the um, the red crystal, but no, I think it just cut back to here. Okay, awesome. Crisis averted. so pretty. I'm curious as to what the point of being able to go in the water is though. Maybe I jump down later. Silver blade. That is a weapon for sale I presume. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Enemy time. Uh, can't tell which enemy this is hovering. I think it's this one. Oh, I forgot to heal. Whoops. Oh, that's a mistake. Uh... attention to my health. Lesson learned. Uh, let's go to this guy. I think I'm dead though. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> oh, does it just keep me back to the menu? Oh wow, okay. 
Whoops. Is this gonna put me back to my last save? That'll kind of suck if so. Oh, I think it might have. Yeah, okay. I gotta redo the puzzle again. That's fine. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't have the crystal. Right, okay. <laughs> Just quickly speed through this again. Whoops. How much health do we have? Okay, we're at full health. This time I'll save before I go into the blue zone. The like the, the cyan zone. Whoopsie. Okay. Oh, you can go in any order. Okay. Interesting. So I can't tell if the, the sword is just indicating physical attacks in general, or if it's specifically like blade attacks. So I tried the shield earlier, and I, it wasn't effective, so I'm guessing it's blade attacks specifically, yeah. Makes more sense. Um. Oh, now long that can go on for? It, it's um. It reminds me of the shell from Iron Luigi. I think it's like theoretically infinite, but I might be wrong there. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna heal her. See if Star's demo speeder. Blue crystal. Oh. 
I'm guessing there's like a physical damage split then, because that looks like maybe blade damage versus like blunt damage. Something like that. Okay, so my spear did the hammer damage. Which is interesting. Yeah, so because I knocked out all of those things, I basically cancelled this attack. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, that's so close. Lost the level up as well, I think, because, uh, yeah, <laughs> whoops. Very quickly heal before we move in. Can. I just messed it up. Okay, uh... Oh, it specifies the effect up top. I just noticed that. Okay. So this one does hammer and the moon element. So let's go for these guys. some damage. Okay. Understood. actually uses uh, resources or if I can just kind of use that one over. Okay. Yeah, I think we might be able to just do that infinitely, which is really cool if so. I put that. Okay. Starting on the sun combat. Yay, hey, we got the level up again. I wonder if the, um, the stats you get on the level is random. I guess it probably is. I'm just gonna get 
the same things I gave last time. Switch down there. I think that's what I meant. Yes. Flip that switch. Middle and hit that button and should uh put the little white glowy thingy back. And then I'll put the crystal in and then I'll save <laughs> so that I don't make that mistake again. actually also here. I wonder if this is how a lot of like the dungeon type areas will operate where they have like a sort of central hub room. I quite like it. A safe place to go back to and you get a free heal. Flip this switch again and fight the enemies. I kind of want to, because um, XP is nice. Sure, let's do it. We can try what this does. Not really. Interesting. Oh, I understand. So you can. I guess you can hurl enemies so that they're closer, and then you can use this to get the splash down. It's kind of cool. Oh, I see. That had like a. It had like a fourth stage for a split second and started going back down. Interesting. So I saw the camera pan over to here for a second, but I'm not sure why. 
these uh I open like a secret? Secret behind the little Oh wait, no, it was just the um No I am behind the little floor. Oh. oh there's just like a little area down there for some reason. Interesting. Maybe um Maybe we are putting the like a little area in a sec. Yeah, it was this that it was putting to. Oh. Wait, there's a hole here. That makes more sense. The asymmetric view screwed with me a bit. Um Yeah, so there's this like pillar thing. It's keeping track of it. There's one up there and there's one to this side. Start with boost. It's kind of nice. Uh, okay. Targeting Zell. It's kind of mean. Uh, this one. strategy here. Um, I'm definitely not very good at it yet, but there's a lot of room for depth, which I like to see. Even right here where it's quite simple, there's still an interesting layer of strategy that I quite like. Uh, can I heal really quickly? I want to fight these guys just yet. Okay. Yes, we want to get rid of that bomb as soon as possible, ideally. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. I guess it gives me SP. Or whatever the equivalent is in this game. MP, <laughs> not SP. I'm playing too much Persona. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, I was right, there is a secret chest. But it was suspicious. We'll use the campfire. Okay, now we have the red crystal. Okay, so, interesting. That opens up two paths that we can check now. By combining either of these with the red crystal. I'm... No, actually. I was gonna say, I'm guessing one of them goes to, like, the white orb, and one of them goes to the, um... Some, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. The white orb is the only thing we need now. And my brain tried to assume that there was a fourth crystal, but why would there be? Okay, um... 
I'll deal with the green crystal first because that's the first one we got. Orange lamp. Or yellow lamp, depending on your opinion. Uh, that's weird. Oh, I see. I understand. It's not really a punishment though. I guess just having to redo it maybe when it gets a bit more complex at all. That makes sense. Can I push him off? I don't want to push him off. It is not like you can. That's a shame. <laughs> Yeah, this combat system is a lot of fun. I'm really digging it. I think I'm just starting to get it a little bit better now. Okay, so this shows me the path. Yep. Understood. I guess I mean, could have healed, but it's fine. I'm sure we'll survive. Yeah, it is Moonrun. Okay, cool. I was just making that up. I was gonna try and see if I could throw them over the throw the two guys with the sun weakness together so that I could put them to fireball, but I don't have enough. So I mean I guess I can do it anyway. It's not really gonna it can't hurt, I guess. Oh, I just killed him. Fair enough. That works too. Parts of the wall. Okay, got it. Oh, I went too early. There we go. Who's this? Scroll of Bash Drop. Just combo attack back. Oh. Huh. Just like a consumable, interesting. The fact that it's consumable makes me think that like maybe later like there are different party members that can use the same skill combos. It's kind of interesting. Or combo skills even. <laughs> that was the last one I think.
So I'm gonna guess that the boss is behind all three crystals together, but I do want to check out what happens if I go to purple dimension. We haven't gone there yet. It's the campfire again. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, no. Good. Rest. Awesome. Uh, yes. Okay, bubble time. It's just, just like a... Optional bonus, or I actually have to go here. Curious. in the lake and a fish swallowed it. You mind catching it for me? Ought to be glowing. Oh. Fishing spot. Okay, so it's like a little little side quest in the dungeon. It's kind of fun. We gotta catch a watch. Interesting. I don't know what it means by the zone. Yeah, I'm a little confused. I mean, hmm. Let me look back at the uh Let me read this again actually. So the bobber prosaic water fish is a hook. Here's a fish. Hold A to reel while it is in the zone. You have not to reel outside of the zone, otherwise the line will break. I don't know what it means by the zone. Um, let's try again. Oh, it's like the coloured... Oh, I see. That makes more sense. I didn't notice that there was like a light now moving through the center. That'll be what it was referring to. Makes much more sense. Look <laughs> how the fish can just get knocked out. That's pretty silly. This is a fun fishing mini game. I vibe with it. Come on. There we go. Golden watch. Did you find my watch? Yes, I did. That's the one. Thank you very much, my friend. Here's a little something for your trouble. Just why can this person? Magically apparate chests. Mage Knight Arm. No response. That's strange. Now everyone has armor. Did that change my appearance? 
Nah. Go. Back down we go. Right. Let's put out to the print. There we go. Cool. Uh, right. We don't need to heal. Put the last crystal in and I'll save again just in case. So now it's white. It should be anyway, yeah. RGB, yes. Be careful, girl. We don't know what to expect here. I found something. Hmm. What is that? Maybe the coin is in there? Wait. Feels powerful. Get ready. Oh, it's boss time. Oh, the music! Hold on, we gotta sit and listen to the music for a sec. Oh, this is great. I love all of the music in this game so far. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Okay, let's try moving around now. Minerang out? But I think I just combined the names of the two skills. Nice. Okay, so it's vulnerable to that. So, uh, I guess we can use fireballs so We have the SP. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Speaking of, I should have probably tried to um, <laughs> instead of vibing to the music. Chromatic apparition. Oh, that's fun, I get it. Uh let's yeah, let's just attack. Oh, changed form. Weird. Okay. Busting the sick. Oh, it's one little friend. I forget what this thing is weak to. Uh, so we'll find out. Let's try this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. Maybe this. Nope. Ah, there we go. Let's try uh, this one again. Okay. I do this. This should. Oh. Oh, interesting. So if you get the perfect hit, then you you do two swipes. So it actually like it means it it works into the system as well. That's quite interesting. That's a cool concept, I like it. Uh, so we can try and damage this guy. Kinda screwed here though. Okay, managed to block that. Arcane Singularity. Oh no. This looks fun. Awesome. Uh, I think I have to wait for them to revert. So I'm gonna kill myself. And hope that I don't die, I guess. Oh, this will die. Okay, cool. So this is a tough boss. I vibe with that. Okay. 
Fortunately, this time we saved, so I don't have to, like, do a bunch of, um, replaying content. Try that again. Is there, like, a fast forward? That would be quite nice. I guess I can just... Oh, there is a I don't know what it is though, because I was just holding all of them. Yeah. What a cool boss design. It kind of gives me like, um, like Fakemon vibes. Like this seems like the sort of thing you'd see in like a Pokemon fan game. It's like the legendary. So now I know that it's more obvious when you nail the perfect timing because you get a second attack. So that's cool. Um. Doing good damage so far, I think. Not entirely sure. Yeah, it seems so. damage. Speaking of big damage, well, uh, oh no. No. This turn, let's see. doesn't like sail. So now it's back into this form. Alright, um... I guess sail can heal himself. Let's use... I have damage, wow. Well, I will take that, thank you very much. Okay, 
Hammer damage. Okay. That works for me. Timing right on that. Uh, let me heal. Uh, I guess we'll just attack. Affinities change when it does that. If I'm understanding this right. That's the end. That's it for now. Thank you for playing. We hope you enjoyed the short slice we put together and that give you a proper taste of the full game. Feel free to replay it as much as you like, and should you be up for a challenge, rumor has it that a certain relic can be purchased at the hidden market somewhere in Brisk. Uh, depends on the challenge. Is it like a secret boss, maybe? So I do know where it's talking about. I don't know if I have the money though. I guess we can go take a look. I really have. I'll go. I'll go take a look. Just very quick. This is a really fun game. Uh, I've really enjoyed this demo. I've had very high hopes for this game since I first saw it, so um, it's nice to see that it's sort of meeting my vision. I guess I probably have a bunch of equipment that I unequipped that I can probably just sell. So no, it wasn't. I think it was for the left. Oh wait, no, we're like on the our left side already. I think it was down here. Yes. I didn't mark it. Mystical and dangerous relic from the Daring Oak. Okay, I, I kind of want to see what it does. Do I have... Do I make enough money to get that? Really no. How much is it? Three fifty. Okay, so if I was to sell all my, what would I get? Fifty, seventy-eight, ninety, four, ninety-nine, hundred fifty. I'm selling all my ingredients. Then I could sell that. 240. I can sell the equipment that I'm not using. Could bring it up to like 164. Or maybe. 
that'd be enough. Not quite. I'm gonna try it though. Okay, I'm just, I'm gonna try it. It's, it's a demo, so. It's fine. Please be enough. Also, sorry if this is an annoying sound. It's probably not. Well, we tried. Is there any way for me to get more money, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, that's fine. Maybe I can return to this on my own time. If it seems like it's worth doing. Yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. Um, that was the Sea of Stars demo. Big fan! I'm very excited to, to play the full game when it comes out, which I believe is fairly soon. I think it's in like um, a month, or just over a month, which is not very long. Yeah, that was a that was a fun time. Um, so we'll we'll be switching over shortly to play um to start tunic. Which I'm very excited for. We'll have a very brief intermission. Um, just before we start, so I can run downstairs to uh, grab some more water. Um, and then yeah, we'll get started. I will put some music on whilst I... <laughs> go ahead. Let um, me just... Sort all this out. 